Is this thing on? The Wiz. What's going on, YouTube? It's me, Tiffany, and I'm here with my co host, Tanea. Hey, guys. And we're back with an all new scandal review. We are back. I can tell y'all right now that this is not going to be a long scandal review because I'm so confused on so many different levels right now, and I'm also very disappointed because I like all of these little adventure episodes, and Shonda, I like the way that you're taking the show and all. But it's time for Olivia Pope to return. We're about to go into episode four and Olivia Pope is still kicking. Can I say something? It's just too much for me to handle, so yeah. Can I say something? I actually like these little action mini movies. They are nice. I mean, you know what? Keep her ass for another couple of episodes. I'm sick of no, her. No, bitch. Is Pumping she crazy? Up in DC in her make believe white hat. Like, I can't, no. I, I, I literally. Keep her locked. It seems like the longer Liv is gone, the more powerful Melly is getting. And I just, something in me, like, the, Melly! wait a minute, Melly's getting more powerful, Huck is getting crazier. Hold on, can I tell you something? Jake is getting weaker. Melly is not, is getting angrier, like. Melly's not getting powerful, she's just wanting to use what she got, like. She's turning into a mini Olivia Pope because Olivia Pope needs help. She doesn't have any power. Olivia Pope has all the power. Okay, so let's get into this episode. But I know exactly what happened, so if you need help on anything, just ask the kid, all right? Um, <laughs> the name of this episode is Gladiators Don't Run, which already had us pissed off, especially Team Olitz, because originally the name of the episode was called Full Circle, and then like Wednesday they changed it to Gladiators Don't Run. Full, full circle, circle, ring, we had kind of like glued that the you pieces told together. Me that too. Why ain't nothing happened? Anyway, let's get into this episode. So the first thing is... I completely forgot that Abby did not know that Olivia Pope was gone. So, you know, by starting off with Olivia Pope trying to call her, waiting for co waiting with coffee for her on the bench, had to go to her house. Oh, there's a stain on the couch. Yeah. Something's going on. Can I tell you, as soon as I saw Abby when with the coffee, me. I said she was supposed to meet Olivia. Like, it just hit me. Like, oh, so that's, that's, it. that's my spot with everybody. And I felt really bad that... I know that Fitz didn't tell her. I know that Cyrus didn't tell her. And David didn't tell her. I felt worse that OPA wouldn't tell her that Huck and, uh, which McCullough wouldn't tell her. Huck was just straight like, and the white, white, she's the White, white House. house. You, you can't you trust the White, white house. house. You're not a gladiator no more. What do you mean? Like, that's my other problem, Shonda. Like, is this permanent? Like, is Abby never going Can back to OPA? Is she forever the press secretary? Like, what's going on it's here? exactly what Randy said. She is no longer First of a all, gladiator. Let's, let's get something straight. <laughs> Liv's name is not Julia. Abby's name is not Red. And Huck's name is not fucking Randy. Because I've been noticing these past couple of shows, <laughs> you've been calling Huck Randy. That's not his name. I like it. He looks like a Randy. Um, yeah, so I felt really bad about that. And I was upset because why is Abby outside of the bubble? I because like she's no longer in the bubble. She is in the White House. You cannot trust the White House if you are part of OPA. So therefore, hello. No, but let's not forget why she went to the White House. Because, Liv because Olivia Pope left her. She didn't have a choice. Exactly. And when Liv came back, she ain't leave. So therefore, she want to be in the White House. Okay, let's go into the first stress me out. I wasn't ready part of the episode when the guy kills Ian. Yeah, that was like... Ian, what happened? You were supposed to have stuff under control. Let me explain. First of all, I know it's somebody watching this video who watches... Shonda's first baby, Grey's Anatomy, that came on at 8 o'clock. Mm. If you know mm. what we went mm. through in Grey's Anatomy and then coming straight to this and that happening, immediately I started to question Shonda, like, what's... Can I tell you something? What's wrong with her, like, killing babies, shooting people that I thought was kind of, sort of, in charge? My brain is, like, fried. But that's the thing. That's how you know when you don't have 
your troop in order. Like, if it's any kind of mutiny, but someone can come behind your back and shoot you, you don't have all the power. You need to get yourself together. Why don't we just go dark? I don't know. Why are you dark skin? What's wrong? I'll be right back. I gotta get the charger. Is it not plugged? I mean, is it not charged anymore? It's still charged, but it's letting me know that it's about to stop. Like, why does it have a full battery if it's going to stop? So bad. Okay, we back. That's somewhere we should go, y'all. Nola. Yeah. Let go. Sorry about that. I uh, left my charger upstairs. Yes, you did. So, yeah. So, he kills, he kills Ian. Because, let's face it. I kind of still knew the man was angry. I mean, Olivia Pope did bust him upside of his head killed his partner and like he said this bitch is walking around like she the head bitch in charge you know what though he was throwing that bitch word around too much though i will tell the you the thing is shit. ian is not a good leader because ian would have known that he should have been taken out and um, he should have took him out and that's what's great to say like everybody in my house and on social networks were just like olivia pope will never be the same like she done had to kill somebody, somebody bust somebody in the head, somebody's on her face. Wait, but that ain't the first. Like, let's not forget she was, the old lady dead body was on top of a couple episodes ago. As I said in a couple of videos ago, <sighs> Olivia Pope is a broken woman. That's why I said this better not be Papa Pope because if you let, what the, f what happened? <laughs> the was the cat under the... Was it about to be a Queenie incident? Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, but yeah, she's, 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 she's really destroyed. Sorry. Simone. And I just want to know what type of brutal... What, I mean, what more... What, I, talk, I, I said, if, if Olivia Pope gets raped, I'm done. I don't think like, we're going to go Shonda, rape route. How far are you going to take I this? I mean, well, I just was thinking about when Mill Melly was raped and they showed it how it was just such a bad backlash. She didn't care about that. I know, but I just don't feel like she feel like going through that again. You're like, freaking out. I know. Oh, my God. What's going on? I don't know. Come on. Record this video. It's making me itch. Okay. Um... Shit. How about Huck having the money? So you know they decide they, they find out about this um they find out about this auction and they're just like how are we gonna get money to do it on our own? Like Jake's like we can do it on our own, like we don't have to work with Fitz and them. Um Quinn and Jake are like, you know, where are we gonna get this money? Huck is sitting on two billion dollars yo huck come holla at and i me. never you know what the, the writers room are geniuses like why didn't we ever think like where did the b613 money go, they had to go when they with shut it. down b613 that time it should have came to me that's crazy but um yeah huck i'm telling y'all now huck is already a love person tonight um of course andrew trying to stay okay so they come up with the plan that He's going to have to resign. They're going to make him resign. Of course, we know he's not going to walk away that easily. He's right. already pissed off because uh, Dead Ian told him that he's no longer a part of this operation. So, you know, he's like, well, okay. If I got to resign, then I'm going to tell everything about Olivia Pope. And I'm going to tell how he had this war just to save his side piece. Bitch. You know what I said instantly? Cyrus, don't argue no more. Where's Charlie at? Where out. is Charlie? It's time for Andrew to die. Seriously. Like, y'all know how it was like the only way we're going to get rid of Papa and Jake is if one of them get killed? He's really like, Andrew's going to have to be killed. It's no other way. Like, and I'm ready. He got nothing but tricks up his sleeve. Like, he's not going you down You know what? Easily. He's a dirty, dirty dog. He's not and going nobody down Nobody knew that Uncle Andrew was like that. Okay, so Uncle Andrew. So once they, you know, figure out that they're going to have to do this auction. I have a question real quick. What? Do you think Uncle Andrew was playing Melly this whole time? No. You think he really did was liking it? I do believe that he used to really like her, okay. like from back when they was in the garden. I just got a feeling that he was just plotting on Fitz the whole time. So then they found out for the auction, you had to basically be like a terrorist. And you have to be invited in. And to be invited into this auction. So they decide to go hit up Mama Pope, which she's just like, cool. 
What y'all gonna give me? I want lots of Gucci. Hold on. Fendi. I want to get out. No, that's too much. She want a yard sunlight. I want the sun on my face. You are a terrorist. Like, I knew, damn. You, you know what? I knew when David Rosen got out that room that some real shit was gonna happen. You know, so basically, Mom Pope is like, oh, well, I got the hookup for y'all, and I know somebody y'all can use, but you gotta, you gotta do this, do that, do that, do that. Kill some people. And basically, Huck is like, for Olivia, point him to me. I'm down. Where it do? Where is my Huck at? Like, who you know? Cause you know, immediately I was like, no, y'all, like, don't listen to Mama Pope. It's just crazy. I still think that she might be a little crazy right now. Like something in that plan wasn't right. It's Huck. Like, how can it even go bad? Like, oh, go kill these motherfuckers? Sure. Not just shoot him in the head. Huck broke their limbs. He cut their throats. He, with a, with a, a knife. steak knife. And then was about to decapitate one of them. Hold on. Free. But then Crazy Yo come through the door. Let me get a piece. What is wrong with him? He looked like he was cutting a steak. He not about that life. But he was liking it, though. Right. Like, that's the thing. Yo, Huck. Huck's crazy has snapped back. Right. You don't play with Olivia Pope. You don't play with Olivia Pope. This man has lost his family twice. Right. And now y'all gonna take Olivia Pope from him? Yo, he really about to go 752 on these N-words. <laughs> um... Can I just say that Fitz has been going off this whole episode? As he should. Like, I love when the presidential balls have to come out Baby to this play. Like, and I love because it. it's just like everybody at some point forgets that he's in control. Like, stop playing with him. He really is the playing, president of the United States. Wait a minute, you're playing with Olivia Pope, the only thing that he cares about other than his kids, maybe? No, don't say maybe. He really do care about his kids, don't forget. So then, you know, Bellamy's like, I mean, Bellamy, I'm calling her Belly. Bellamy. Melly's like, you know, Ooh, this is over Andrew. Like, you might as well just give up, resign. And he's like, no. You know, since y'all, because Fitz came up with a brilliant plan that, no, I didn't go to war for Olivia Pope. I don't know what he's talking about. I went to war because da 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 And they got Lizzie Bear. Basically, they're going to take Andrew down. Right. So now Andrew has to go to his next source, and he's like, okay, and if they take me down, I'm going to expose how I had you every way possible around every this little entire nasty thing White you House. Did. Remember? Which one do you like, Melly? I like both. Remember that? That's gross. You remember that? Yeah. He touched her here, and he touched it there. I don't know. Exactly. Well, he, he, touched was, but he touched them both places. So, you know, immediately I was just like, oh God, here goes Fitz loyalty being tested for Melly right yeah. now because Melly definitely <laughs> did the damn thing last episode you and had sex know. with him to get the phone. Like, she Fitz definitely was in on this. Poor Fitz. But what was crazy was like when she was like, well, Fitz, you know, basically she goes to Fitz and she's like, this is what it is. Like, he's going to expose me. It's not going to be like how it was with you and Liv because you're a man. Like, this has got, like, three sex charges against him Tanner, before. Right. Like, the redhead that's not even real that they made exactly. up. Exactly. So, it's like, you see how easily he gets off. It's not going to be that easy because I'm a woman. And I don't want to be, I don't want my name tarnished and destroyed. So, we're going to have to let him walk. Because I want to be the president of the United States. So she's like, if you can have anything that's work, what you want? I was glad that he said, have his son back. Thank God he didn't right. tell Olivia Pope right off the bat because everybody would have had a fit. And then she's like, no, something realistic. And he's like, live. I want live back. Home is home sick. And then she asks him, he, I mean, he asks her, and she's like, I want to be president. If she's ever going to be president, she can't have no charges against her like this. So he's basically like, walk. okay, Andrew walks. Which I don't know if that means they're just gonna let him walk free or is he still gonna be the vice president? I don't know. I don't know. Can I tell you something? I was just happy that he did take Melly's. I wouldn't vote for Melly. She's so scandalous. And the thing is, she's too hot tempered. She doesn't think clearly. I, they don't know that, though. America doesn't know that. Like, 
Michelle Obama could be like Melly and we not know it. Like, they don't act sure. like that in the public. But uh, um, if she did, she probably would have said it a couple of times in the interview and not been being... True. She, she Michelle ain't make no slip-ups yet. Right, because she know. Michelle is a really good first lady. Yes, she is. One of the best. But that's not what we're talking about right now. Okay, Liv's plan. So Liv decides to try to get the two, you know, men who are helping run the auction while the, the killer is in the back. And she's basically like... I'm Olivia Pope. Like, I'm powerful. You see all these people trying to bet on me. I can help you. I can you can get you. me out of here. You can. I can save your names. Y'all won't go to jail. And I will pay y'all. Help me. Did y'all see the pain in Liv's eyes? Help me. The woman is losing her mind. Like, I know y'all saw it. Blood on her face. The man tried to wipe it, like, too much. So, basically, they're like, No. I, I want a billion dollars. Like, I want what Yo, we're doing right I now. I want a billion dollars, too. Fuck boys. That's what they were. Fuck boys. Y'all, if I could say Olivia Pope, I really would. I'm not even joking right now. What would you do? If I had the billions of dollars, first of all, I would have auctioned her off. Second, if I was the two auctioners, I would have did the plan. Would you have gave her back to the United States or would you right. kept it in a little box in the basement? I would have gave her back to the United States. Go, girl. And I was so sad when her plan didn't work out. Oh, my well, God. Well, because they not. She need to chill back. Um, yeah, so, you know, we go to Abby's little rant to David about how Liv's her only friend and she can't believe that he didn't tell her, but I'm not surprised. David's a f boy. He's a bitch baby. And not only that, like, I mean, okay. David's petty, so. Right, like, he did, she did, did have sex really with Leo. Have, right, like. She did, but. Like, no, but it's not no, it, it's not no but. She did, but. No, you can't but. You had sex with Leo. You know I'm not cool enough to have sex with anybody else but you. So, of course, I'm going to be petty towards you. So, you're not going to tell me that my best friend was kidnapped? Definitely not. David. What well, if you had done to change it? David, you're the hate person. It doesn't matter. What well, if you had done to change it? She could have put her input. She could have did something that's her best friend. Like, are you joking? How would you feel if somebody didn't tell you I was kidnapped? Oh, I'm going to be your kidnapper. What do you mean? Moving on. Because this bitch, um, so yeah, basically we find out that the bed is over, like, Fitz is upstairs suffering from a hangover from the night before from devising his plan with Melly. Yep. Huck is trying to, you know, he's up trying to do the bed. Like, everybody is just like, everything shuts down. Liv's been sold. In the middle of the auction. They shut it down. Up they shut down. it down. Liv's been sold. Liv's like, what the hell is going on? The guy's like, you've been sold. You've been sold to Iran. Everybody's panicking. Huck snaps and loses it. And he's basically like, oh, she's dead. They're, they're, they're going to torture her. They're going to break off finger by finger Sit until she limb has limb. nothing else to give. We're, we should be praying and hoping that they just shoot her in the head or they slit her throat so that she won't have to go through all that, but she's she's dead. I'm sorry. Quinn goes crazy. And beats up Huck. And beats Huck's ass. Right, and she should have. Like, Fitz, Fitz goes to the sit room and goes the fuck off. As he should have. What what do you mean we can't? What do you mean we should dispose? And then are you crazy? You're gonna say only thing we should do is neutralize the asset. What the? That mean? Like he really don't want to have to come out and say this is the woman I'm in love with. Like maybe she would have understood if it was Melly that was kidnapped. You know what he should have did? Choke her ass up and knock that wig off. Burn it. Like ass. We, right? Like what you mean neutralize? No. Everybody's panicking like Olivia Pope's about to die. And at Olivia this point, Pope is panicking. Y'all, if. I, I'm a girl. All the time. Emmys, uh, everything. All they the win time. everything. I think the cast is. But I'm telling you. It's fine. We just was like, you know. Um. The show lets you know. If I didn't know that Olivia Pope was. If I didn't know Kerry Washington Olivia Pope was the main character, I would be worried if this was like a movie or something. Right. But I know that Olivia Pope's not going to die, but it's just stressful. You know, Huck's breaking down, Quinn's breaking down, Fitz is breaking down. And, you know, Fitz is basically like, at this point, you know, we're not 
we, we can't. Just, I've done too much. Like, I, 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 I put, I've just, I put too much at risk just to let her be, you know, just to let her be killed. Like, we don't have a choice. And then they go and they show all those caskets of all the people that died in the war. Well, that yeah. was only, the war only started because of Olivia Pope. So he could save Olivia Pope. And Cyrus is like, yeah, this time you're right. Like, I agree with you. We have to get her back. It's like everybody really agrees on one thing. Like, Olivia Pope has, has to, to come back. Melly, everybody. Now, my friends got me thinking, and I've been already thinking it. I don't know why, y'all. Melly just is, she just being too bright or nice or cooperative right now. Like, I don't know. I, I hope she don't have nothing to do with this kidnapping. Too. I don't think so. I definitely don't think she has anything to do with the kidnapping. I really, really feel like Melly has really come to a point in her life where the her marriage with... Fitz is not as important as her dream of being the president, and she's not going to do anything to maybe mess Bitsy, that up. Maybe Bitsy really got to her. Who knows? What is? Um, and then they, like, this is what I'm saying. Like, this is why this video is not going to be that long. This is why I don't have nothing to say because then we get the preview for next week. You know, we get Liv all suited up in the damn trunk with something over top of our head. We're in the middle of the fucking desert. We're finally about to find out who has bought her and it goes to what's happening next week. What's happening next week, they show the exact same last minute of the episode. We know nothing. We know nothing. All they tell us is that next week we'll find out who. who episode four, Shonda. But the thing is, we find out who bought her, but she still ain't taking her ass back to the United States yet. So, like. Like, here's my thing. We don't know who Iran is. I, I think it's the country. I believe that it's somebody just going under the name Iran. Really? Definitely. Definitely. Who do you think it might be? I honestly don't know. Like, I'm really racking my brain. I like, don't know who I've it is. I've already thought about Hollis. I've thought about Sally Langston. Then I thought, thought about, about Steven. I thought about her. I thought about Edison. I thought about her too. I asked was the girl that her was having sex with. Was she alive? Like, we thought about Daddy Poe. Oh, um... Y'all, I have no idea who it could be, but I just know if it's Mama Popo, Papa Popo, they don't love their child. I don't care. Like, this is just too much. Like, whoever was in charge of this, whoever's buying her, like, hopefully, no, that's what I had to say. Hopefully, the person that's buying her is really somebody here to try to help her. Yeah. But we still have to find out who's in charge of this operation. Who was in charge of Olivia Pope being kidnapped? Like, who's over top of Andrew? Somebody's over top of Andrew. Oh, like who's over Andrew? Yeah. Over, over, um... Somebody's over Andrew. Mm -hmm. Hate and love person of the week. I don't think... No, no. Somebody can't be over Andrew because if you think about it, the way he, he told Andrew, Drew, it, it was over. If that was the case, he would be telling somebody else over Andrew, like, you're no longer a part of this. You understand what I'm saying? I believe it's somebody over top of him. I mean, it could be, but also you have to, you know what he said? What he but she said to both of them that they're not the men in charge. I don't know. I'm so damn confused. I'm getting a hot This hurts. Hate and love person. Um, my love person of the week is definitely Huck. Mm, love person of the week. Huck. Fitz, Fitz, Cyrus, Cyrus, even Melly. Maybe Melly. I gave Melly last week and you wouldn't give it to her. All right, I might give it to her this week, though. Hey, um, person. Every motherfucker who has something to do for living. I really hate kids. this guy, this guy in charge now. The VP, the guy, the two little boys who are in charge of the office. Yo, because they should have took her the off The lady in charge of they the CSI, die. Lizzie Bear. Everybody. Definitely Andrew. But, um, but yeah. And I don't feel like Jake is doing enough. He getting on my nerves. Like, what is he even doing? I think he don't know what to do. Like, do something. Like, what are you good for? You used to be in B613, you stupid super spy. Well, he didn't even know that B613 no longer had their damn money. So. And this is who y'all want Olivia Pope with. 
All I got to do is sh shout out to the old listeners. Shout out to my homie Armani who made me this beautiful shirt. All I can say is until next time, y'all. That's a nice shirt. Thank you. I love Armani it. is the shirt. And you notice the middle piece, like the eye, is really fits and lit. Like hugging and kissing on each other. Can I tell you something? Doing one minute. One minute. One second. Everybody needs it. You oh. didn't have to point it out. <laughs> I just wanted to tell y'all, I got this on a keychain too. <laughs> but, um, yeah, at this point, I don't know what to think anymore. I don't even know if this is scandal anymore. I am, uh, I don't know what to think of Shonda Rhimes anymore. I'm afraid to go watch How to Get a Murder right now. Me too. I'm terrified. I'm it's terrified just a lot going on between Murder Gray, wow. Olivia Pope, and Adelise Keaton. Like, I want to have nightmares tonight. I love y'all. I, I need y'all predictions. Let's just all huddle together. All Let's my Olitzas and Olivia Pope. Yeah. The Olakes and Olitzas, look how Fitz and Jake are coming together. Let's just all hold hands and be one right now. Just until Olivia Pope is back. Let's be Let one. us be one. Let us be one. One nation. One nation. Under, under God. Indivisible. With, with liberty and justice for all. all. God bless America and Olivia. Make sure y'all share this video. <laughs> tell a friend to tell a friend. Tell your mother, your cousin, your sister, your brother. Tell your brother, new girlfriend, daughter, baby father. Side piece. Side piece. I don't know. I'm tired of giving the side pieces. Y'all, oh. side piece need love. It's about to be um, Valentine's Day. They gonna be with the maid. Olivia Pope is not a side piece. She's a known about side piece. She's a side piece anymore. I really go. think he got a two entree meal. Have to go. He got ribs and chicken on his plate. Shut up, Kevin Hart. And as always, it's always a hater. No, no, no. There that there's no show, there is no show. Like, the show. like the show. Everybody want to be on the show. She show. was on the show. She this left show the show. To everybody. <laughs> you gotta have a calling not to make it in this life. Girl, you a co-host. I am a host. I am the you host. Are the co -host. No, it's no co see, when because you're, you're no longer on this show, show you don't okay. be in our meeting. So you don't know that it's no longer like a top and bottom. It's a half and half. Until next it's week. Always I'll see you guys. Hey,